welcome to today. I hope you are good. The sun is bright where I am and it's a good day, a blessed day. Thank God for today. And I'm hoping you too are fine. And welcome, welcome to today. Just checking to see whether it's on, whether the sound is good and clear. Most welcome, please. Thank you so much for joining me. Because today I want to ask you, do you have a dream team that you work with? Your team, are they clear on the mission that they're supposed to have or what they're doing when they're working with you? Or is it something that they are not clear about? Now, it's important because when they are clear what it is, then it is good for them to know what they are doing. And if they are doing something that is benefiting to the others, then they know where they fit in. So today, let us look at clarity in terms of your, your team. Are they clear what their roles are? What questions can you ask to know or to find out if that is clear. And if you have those questions, can you get them to have clarity on their role so that whatever they are doing, they are clear what is expected of them and how they fit in in the team. Because sometimes we assume that we don't need teams and we need teams, we need to work with others. We don't work alone, we work with other people. So are you pivoting and how does your team operate in terms of their roles? Do they understand their roles? If they do, it's good. If they don't, what can you do to make sure that you clarify what is the mission of the team and the roles that they are playing because they say teams are the ones that win championships so if it is teams how do you want them to win the championship without you making sure they understand their roles and that is why it is good and important to ensure that they are clear so that they are inspired and motivated to ensure that they play that one role that makes them fit in the group. Because each of us play different role. And if we understand, if we are clear how our roles play a part in the bigger picture, it's good because then we can give our very best. So what are some of the things that you could be asking that can help you to find out whether your mission is clear to the team? And I wanted to look at some of the questions that you can ask and find out or help you to find out if the mission is clear. And some of the questions you are most likely to ask around the people you're working with include what does this team exist to do now you have a team whichever is the team what does this team exist to do because this gives you um this gives you an idea of the specific role they are playing the specific part they are actually involved in because each part will fit in to make whatever you're doing with a project to make it a success. And unless they are clear about that, then it can be a problem. What specific part does each individual fulfill to accomplish what the team does? You see, many times we assume that we can do everything alone. Sometimes we miss the point that others are there to help us achieve the same goal that we have in mind. And that is why it is good to know what specific parts each person does. Ask members. They will also articulate their portion 
ask others to clarify and determine what roles overlap, where the gaps are, and you'll be surprised. Because each member is clear where they play their role. And once they understand, it makes, the, it, makes it easy for them to add their value. And you know what? If each member understands where they add value, then it becomes less stressful in terms of frictions, conflicts, because everybody knows I have a part to play and this is where I bring in my value. This is where I add to the final project, to the final picture of whatever it is. So does each member understand the value of each other members part because we can assume that my colleague is not doing anything they're just idly but do you understand what they do do you understand that you will appreciate where they're playing a part what does success look like to the team what is that successful part that when they look at it they will say we were successful we did it we did our best we are happy we succeeded what is it the project finished if it's finished who is playing what role how are we supporting each other to make sure that is working you're pivoting your business you're changing your business model does everybody know what they're expected to do in that change do they understand what each other's role is and do they understand what is the end game once the business is changed or once the business has taken a new route. Do they know what the success, the end of that will be or look like? Because they also have to have something that they can visualize and see. When we are successful, when we've pivoted, we've changed our business model, this is where we should be. This is how we know we have been successful. And do they know also what failure looks like? Maybe if we have not succeeded, how will we know we have not succeeded? Maybe we are not having clients. Maybe we are not uh, showing up consistently. Maybe we are not there. Or what does failure look like? Because this will then help you to write a team mission, which helps you to start breaking it down in a way that it helps everyone to look forward to playing their part, to adding their value, to helping you achieve the goal that you've set. If it's to pivot or to change your business model, then you will be able to do that successfully. So ensure you have clarity around the mission of the team. And since you work with teams, since everyone could be working around teams, then it's good to know that these teams are here to help us and they can help us when they're clear. It is our job to make sure they're clear. And once they're clear, then that helps us to ensure that they are successfully implementing everything that the team agreed. And the thing is, when the team agrees on what they are to achieve, it means they have understood what is expected of them. And when they understand what is expected of them, they inspired, motivated, and they will be successful. They will actually help and push each other so that they can be able to reach their goal that they envision. The goal or whatever they visualize to be their success. So it's good to have a clarity when working with team. So thank you so much. You've got enough questions to work around to enable you to get clarity for your team mission and to be able to assist you to actually ensure that the team understands and that you have started you have uh, taken the role of leading the team into a place where each one is appreciative of the other. And with that, and with those questions, you can actually 
write a specific team mission statement that will help you and help the team to understand what is expected of them. So the questions again was, what does this team exist to do? Like what's the work of the team? The next question is, what specific role does each individual fulfill to accomplish what the team does? So once you understand what the, the team is set up or what the team is existing for, then you can set up each one's role. Then you can ask and get contributions around that from the team members themselves. So I believe that with that, you should be able to come up with a mission statement that gives you clarity for your team mission. Thank you so much for joining me today. And I hope that you now know, you now know what to do when you have a team, how to go around setting up a mission for the team. And until next time, leave your comments and feedback below. It's a goodbye and a blessed day too, because I know you're making changes to business. And so your team needs to go along with you because you need your team. And until next time, it's a goodbye for now.